I offer this Mass for all your intentions. We begin by signing ourselves in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the priceless friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Bonavent Saint Bonaventure. We pray for all the Franciscans around the world as they consider Saint Bonaventure as their second founder of the order. Right now, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we pause for a moment of silence, calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the life and the resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the example of his charity. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pay attention to the Word of God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord and said, Please, O Lord, remember how I have walked before you in faithfulness and with a whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. Behold, I will add 15 years to your life. I will deliver you and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria and will defend this city. Now Isaiah had said, let them take a cake of figs and apply it to the boil that he may recover. Hezekiah also had said, what is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? Isaiah answered, This shall be the sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he has promised. Behold, I will make the shadow cast by the declining sun on the dial of Ahaz turn back ten steps. And so the sun turned back on the dial the ten steps by which it had declined. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response. O Lord, you have delivered my soul, lest it perish. Altogether, O Lord, you have delivered my soul, lest it perish. I said, in the middle of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. Our response. O Lord, you have delivered my soul, lest it perish. I said, I shall not see the Lord, the Lord in the land of the living. I shall look on man no more among the inhabitants of the world. Our response, O Lord, you have delivered my soul, lest it perish. My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. 
Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. Our response, O Lord, you have delivered my soul, lest it perish. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these is the life of my spirit. O restore me to health and make me live. Our response, O Lord, you have delivered my soul, lest it perish. Let us stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went through the cornfields on the Sabbath. And his disciples were hungry, and they began to pluck ears of corn and to eat them. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, and those who were with him, how they entered the house of God and ate bread of the presence, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priests. Or have you not read in the law how on the Sabbath the priests of the temple profane the Sabbath and are guiltless? I tell you, something greater than the temple is here. And if you have known what this means, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the guiltless, for the Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Sri Lanka is facing a crisis and been aware of this in reading and watching the news. I'm quite, quite pained and concerned about what is happening in Sri Lanka because during my years in the family postulate, I made several trips to Sri Lanka to help the church set up local church set up family support structures. I have a few priest friends there. And the past few days, past few weeks, past few months, in fact, almost three months, they've been sending me messages. You know, the situation is not very good. Please pray for us. The situation is bad. Please pray for us. During the last few weeks, we've noticed that there have been, Sri Lanka has faced the harsh reality of hunger, with short, short, shortage of food supplies, they have stopped. The government is too bankrupt to purchase new stuff. There's a fuel shortage. We also have realized that the Ukraine and Russian war has disrupted global food supply chains. And not just Sri Lanka, but many countries, that includes India, who have got impacted by inflation, got impacted by hunger. And this is a growing concern. Now, the World Food Program, World Food Organization, states that there is enough food produced in the world for the entire global population. Yet, according to their numbers, about 600 and 690 million people go to hungry, go hungry to bed almost every day. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, an occasion for Jesus to deal with the topic of hunger, when he watches his disciples walk through those corn fields and eat grains of corn, years of corn, and they ate them on the Sabbath day. If you look at the Old Testament, the book of Deuteronomy, people are allowed to pluck years of corn in their hands while they walk through the field. They were allowed to walk through the field and they pluck corn when, with their hands when they went walk through a neighbor's field with, with standing crop. Such a humanitarian legislation was intended to sustain the needy. Citing the examples of David, Jesus recognizes that hunger is a basic human need, which is more important, satisfying hunger is more important than following the law of the Sabbath. Jesus reminds us that hunger is a basic need and we need to address it. Rising inflation in our country has put a lot of food items out of the budget of many families. 
and we need to be proactive in supporting the needy in our neighborhood. Wish that no one goes hungry in your neighborhood. We need to share our food so that we can really address the situation of hunger. There are several organizations who work in this field. One name that comes to my mind is Akshay Patra, which feeds underprivileged children every day. We have our own church association, SVP, St. Vincent Paul, which supports poor families with rations, with prepaid food coupons. We also need to encourage the community fridge, the community fridge initiative, which is taken in a few parishes. We need to encourage this so that it, everyone in our neighborhoods do not go without food. We can support CSA, the, our center, Archdiocesan Center for Social Action, annual campaign against hunger and disease. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel today, particularly as we address the issue of hunger, is inviting us to be sensitive, to reach out and feed people, and eliminate hunger around us. We pause for a moment of silence. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. wine to offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, your sacrifice and mine make acceptable God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Look upon this offering of the church, the feast of St. Bonaventure. Accept it as you accepted the gifts of Abel. Grant those who consume it may be strengthened and may grow in holiness. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, Love Son, Jesus Christ, from the festival of St. Bonaventure, with your church rejoice. So too, with strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by the words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And as we join the angels and saints in heaven, we sing the hymn of praise.
You indeed, Holy Lord, font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon like the dewfall. Become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into passion. He took bread, gave you thanks, he broke it, gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us now claim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks for his worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Now pray for the Universal Church. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Oswald, Gracious, our Bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, religious, and the lay faithful. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Spouse, Saint Joseph, all the Apostles, Saint Bonaventure and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We merit Koya's eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, God Almighty Father, unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now, with great love in our hearts, call out to our Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Till this, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious grant peace in our days. The help you for mercy, will us be free from sin and safe from all distress. Wait in blessed hope the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Grace you to peace and unity in God and your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other some sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, spiritual food which satisfies our hunger. Happy are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. 
O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is always with you. And, and with your spirit. And mighty God bless each one of us. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ended, you sent out to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.